the carnival, the carnival, the carnival. It's creation time. It's carnival custom. Custom. The c -c 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 customs. Everybody likes the customs. Um, and this would be. Hello, everyone. Welcome back once again to the Carnival Toy Review. I am, like always, the immortal toy master, Willow. And today I will be bringing to you a Carnival's custom. Zordon from Altar. Um, I actually got a Fortnite figure. This guy. Um, my, my, Midas, Midas, Rex. So I seen this and I'm like, clearance. Eleven dollar. I can custom that. Oh, what can I do? His body looks like a Zordon body from uh, Zordon from Altar. So me, bright idea. You have a blue figure somewhere. Grab that D that Marvel Legends figure and uh, throw it together with another Hasbro creation and make yourself a custom Zordon from Altar. So, it is a Midas Rex and a blue... I'm trying to remember the character. I can't remember the character at all whatsoever. I don't know who he is. I just know I bought him in a lot and I tore him apart and put his blue head and his blue hands on here to make Zordon of Altar. I also took a Goze Morpher from Power Rangers Mega Force, put it on his belt so it looks like it can talk to him and whatnot. So Goze is a part of this suit. I have the Power Blaster and the Power Sword, the Tyrannosaurus Power Sword. But in this lore, he just has it as a design. It's not connected in my lore. It's not connected to the Red Ranger yet. Um, but to me, I think he probably would have created Goze a long time ago, right? And he just put him into slumber, right? Until the next threat, the mist or the Mega Force threat, um, came along and woke Goze. So, as for my story, he has Goze. He's designed and modded Goze as his mentor, or not his mentor, as his predecessor. And it's right there, which I thought that'd be really cool. Um, I am gonna do a couple other things to this. I'm gonna add some blue to it, some metallic blue like to his legs, um, these cords right here. I'm gonna add metallic blue to this and then probably on the back, probably add some metallic blue here. Um, put some lines on it, make it look like a morphing grid style thing. Uh, as for articulation, he has um, to torso swivel. Um, he can turn his waist, he's on a ball joint there. He has thigh rotation. Um, he can do the splits. He's got uh, foot rotation, flick of the wrist, uh, wrist swivel, double elbow joints. Or is it single elbow joints? It is double elbow joints. He can fully rotate his arm all the way around. These don't do and don't hinder. The head, uh, the ball joint for the head is a little small. So I did have to take some clay, you know, like always, you know, good mods do. And put it on there. And then we got this nice Zordon of Altar. So I like this. Um, it's going to go in... My collection, um, if I continue the collection, I don't know yet. Some stuff's happening, and um, I don't know what's going to happen. So, if you like this video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below on what do you think of this custom Zordon of Eltar. Remember, like, subscribe. I said that already. Just remember to Henshin!